Hi guys, um, my name is Angie and this is the first of hopefully many of my reviews that I'm going to start doing um, for kind of new moms out there. It's not going to be all baby products, but it's going to be mostly baby products. So I have three camera sets here that I want to just give you my take on. First is the Nanit, then we have the Infant Optics, and then the VTech. Um, two camera smart Wi-Fi. Um, so I have two kids, a three year old and a nine and a half month old. And initially, um, we started with the Nanit. We have one mounted in the nursery that we brought, bought brand new. And then my husband bought a used one from somebody so we could take it with us, um, places like when we go to my parents' house, his parents' house, stuff like that. Um, eventually, when my daughter moved out of the nursery and then my son came, we had to get a second monitor. Um, I could have used this one, but for reasons I'll tell you later why I didn't. I got this one because this was the one that I was comparing to initially when I had my daughter. It was between these two. Um, difference being, this one has a parent monitor that um, is on a local kind of like feed with each other. This one is internet based. Um, and then I just transitioned to this one, or I'm in the process of transitioning to it. I just bought it like a month or two ago. So I'll give you the pros and cons of all of them so you guys can make a great informed decision. Um, a lot of the reviews that I was seeing were more along the lines of just the specs on each one. The specs are great, but you can read the specs on a box. I am going to try to give you a real world kind of advice. All right, so first is the Nanit. Um, we liked it because my husband's friend gave it a great review, good monitoring, um, the app is really nice. The thing is, is that it relies on the internet and you don't realize how much your internet actually goes in and out until you're trying to monitor your baby in the middle of the night. Then the internet goes out and then if the internet goes out and then comes back on, you have to like go in the room, like sneak in there, unplug it plug it back in to reset it and I found that it was obnoxious and the other thing is that the camera is not that great right so I use an outlet monitor which I'm gonna do a review on in another video but it's um sorry my son is old enough now where I don't need to use a monitor anymore but I want to see his chest fall rise and fall um, anxious moms you understand that so with this the nanit shockingly I can't and that's why they make those bands that go around the baby that you you know put around it like reflects off the, the light from the monitor and you can see the chest rise and fall but like who's able to put that on a baby all the time who wants to spend the extra money um, we didn't do that so for me the camera is just not that great on this. They say it's supposed to be good, it's expensive. You think because it's expensive it's gonna be great. It's not. The other major thing with this is we got this to travel with. You cannot use these in hotels. So me and my husband would get, you know, like, I guess the suites with the two rooms, whatever you wanna call it. So we could finally like have our own peace while traveling. But you cannot, I mean, if you can, you have to be some sort of whiz when it comes to like internet and configurations and stuff I'm very good with technology my husband is an engineer he's very good with technology but you know when you're on vacation it's the last thing you want to like spend an hour or two trying to figure out if it's possible at all I don't know but it's not like as simple as oh just connect on the app and you're good to go no so would I recommend this <sighs> if you want just a camera that you can use your phone with yeah um, but the cameras not that great the internet goes in and out so would I recommend it to anybody over these other ones probably not next up is the infant optics um, this has the parent monitor it does not have the internet app that you can use and so if you're looking for something that has internet this is not the one for you. The camera on this is 
mind-blowing. It is so good. I have no qualms about this monitor. The camera is amazing. Um, but I wanted to get two cameras and switch them both to the nursery. And I really, I could afford, but I didn't want to afford a second one of these. Um, and I am sick of relying on the internet for the Nanit. So that's when I just decided to buy this. This seemingly is the best of both worlds. It is a parent monitor, but it also comes with an app and you can pair it using the Wi-Fi. So, um, so far I like it. Um, what's nice about this one is it has tilt and pan, just like this one. Um, and you can use the parent monitor. The parent monitor, you can use dual screen or you can flash back and forth, just like the, you know, a, a general parent monitor. Um, or you can use the app. The other thing about this is when I scroll into my son on the app, you can change the viewing from 720p to 1080p. It's a little finicky, like if you're using the, if the parent monitor is on in my room and I try to change the settings in the app, it won't let me. It'll give me an alert like saying, oh, you can't change this while the parent monitor is on. So I got to go turn the parent monitor off and then change it in the app. With the 720p, I cannot see my son's chest rise and fall. But with the 1080p, I can. With the 1080p, this camera is better than the Nanit. Hands down. I can see my son's chest rise and fall. And that's, as an anxiety-ridden mom, that's what I wanna see. This is the best of both worlds. Is the camera as good as this one? No. Is it better than this one? Yes. It comes with a parent monitor, two cameras, pan, tilt, uh, zoom, all, all the functions of a general you know, baby monitor, but you also get the best of both worlds in the parent monitor versus the app using the Wi-Fi. Now that I've gone over all three monitors, you kind of have to make the decision about what type of monitor you're looking for. Now, you have the solely internet monitor or you have the solely parent monitor. What's the benefits?